Keaton after the workout and asked him, among many things, his three biggest surprises since showing up here on campus. Here's our interview. Keaton, what did you do today that you're happy with? Uh, just thought we ran the offense really well. I thought all, all the quarterbacks, uh, we got in the red zone, we scored. That's kind of your job as an offense. You want to be a good team, you have to score in the red zone. So I thought um, as an offense, we did a great job of that. Seemed like a spirited exchange with the defense. Is it starting to get intense? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, what, day five, six now. And I think the both sides are, you know, play against each other a lot. And, you know, you want to win the drill. And everyone wants to win the drill. So, uh, you know, I think they won in the first one. And we kind of took a lot of pride in winning the second drill for sure. What have you learned about this team in two weeks? Um, we have a lot of fun, and uh, guys are coached really well, I think. Um, and even when, when you don't really execute the play as, as much as you like, I think guys are fired up to, to do it themselves. It's not like they need a whole lot of motivation. I think guys are, are really fired up intrinsically, which is uh, everything you want as a teammate. In this offense, what do you find the most challenging? Um, just be more and more familiar with the plays I haven't ran before. But um, again, I think Coach, Coach Arod and, and Matt make it really easy on the quarterback. We, we go over it a lot in meetings, and uh, I feel like out here I feel pretty comfortable. It wasn't but a couple of months ago that John Beck suggested you think about BYU. And, and here you are. And the other day you told me it felt like you'd been here forever. How come? <laughs> uh, it just does. Uh, it's hard to explain. I think just the, the way the team is, the culture, uh, the way the teammates act. Uh, I feel like I have a bunch of friends out here. So uh, when you have a certain amount of friends after three weeks, it feels like you know each other for a while. I guess it just feels like you know each other for more than two weeks. And it turned out to be super nice. But yeah, uh, you know, it's just a tribute to the, the coaches, the culture, and uh, the program Coach Colony's built. What are the three biggest surprises now that you're an expert at what BYU is? When you think about it a couple of months ago when John said, hey, <laughs> think about BYU, and now what you know, what are the three biggest surprises? Uh, I think we have a lot of good players here. I kind of knew that, but you don't know until you get there. Uh, I think the players have impressed me. Uh, the culture, I've heard all about it. Everyone touts about the culture, and once you get in the building, again, that's impressed me. And then, uh, shoot, probably the view. I've never seen these mountains with snow on it, so I was kind of shocked by uh, you know, all the ski resorts around and um, just the area. It's a great area, too. How much time do you spend thinking about your debut September 2nd against Sam Houston? Uh, that's a great question. I feel like I feel about think about the whole season. Um, but yeah, that, that day on the calendar is, is cer certainly circled with a, a big mark on it. Yeah. Today it was announced that uh, the Big 12 and the NFL are partnering to do Pro Day next year, which will be your Pro Day in Dallas on the NFL Network. It just seems like things are getting bigger and bigger for you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that until now. So uh, yeah, it's great news. Uh, it's exciting to be a part of that conference and a lot of good players, a lot of good competition, and we're excited to be going competing in it. In our first interview, you talked about uh, your dad was impressed that, that BYU brought ice cream to the visiting fans when you were here in 2019. Have you broke the news to them that they don't bring ice cream to the parents of current team members? Yeah, he probably has to figure that one out the hard way, but uh, we'll get him. Well, he can't wear like an opposing shirt and switch it. He's got to just deal with it, maybe pay you know a few bucks for an ice cream now. <laughs> He's going to be okay with that? Yeah, he'll, he'll bite the bullet for that one. Looking at the next two weeks, what, what do you want to get done here with this team where you feel like you've got a handle on things? I think just iron out the little you know, kinks and cooks and crannies that, uh, you know, that you know, each play, you know, there's little nuances and uh, kind of iron all that stuff out and get more and more comfortable with the plays that we haven't run a ton of or haven't had success with. But uh, I know we'll get to it eventually. Who gets after you the most, Kalani or Aaron Roderick, the offensive coordinator? Or Steve Clark? I saw him getting after a lot of guys. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, they're pretty cool and collected. Um, you know, it's kind of nice that I feel like that's how I kind of carry myself. We talk about after. If I did this something wrong, they'll let me know. But it's not, um, again, I feel like there's a lot of trust in me. But also, um, you know, Coach Klein came up to the other day. He's like, man, just have fun today. And as I, from head coach, you know, you love hearing that because that's what it is. Football's a fun game. And uh, I feel like you play better when you're, you're having fun. You hit Chase Roberts on a corner route for a touchdown to beat uh, Heckard, the All-American transfer. Uh, that give you some satisfaction? Oh, yeah, it's great. I told Chase, one of many, uh, and he did a great job. And again, we're supposed to score when we get down here, and we did, and super happy about it. All right, thank you. Good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, thank you.